waiting for a crucial enhancement to control underage drinking. And the Surgeon General and his call to action to prevent and reduce underage drinking, which came out in 2007, said the following. Alcohol is the most widely used substance of abuse among America's youth. Exposure to alcohol advertising influences young people's beliefs about alcohol and their intention to drink. Early initiation of alcohol use increases the risk of alcohol dependence in greater in later in life. And the greatest single mortality risk for underage drinkers is motor vehicle crashes. Just a few other uh, facts about underage drinking. 5,000 people under age 21 die each year from alcohol-related car crashes, homicides, suicides, alcohol poisoning, and other related injuries. More than 190,000 people under age 21 visited an emergency room for an alcohol-related injury in 2008 alone. Drinking can cause kids to make poor decisions, which then result in risky behavior like drinking and driving, sexual assault, or other violence. And young people who drink are more likely to carry out or be the victim of physical or sexual assault. And brain development problems occur as well because the brain continues to develop well into a person's 20s. Alcohol can affect that development and contribute to a range of problems. So I think it's critical that we halt this advertising and uh, in the interest of public, and safety, public safety and health for uh, the kids of the city of Los Angeles. Thank you, Mr. Koretz. Mr. Parks, Madam Clerk. All right. Stand by. Uh, Mr. Parks, I want to know, considering with the city clerk, if we could have that particular issue on the cigarettes? Cigarettes, tobacco products, e-cigarettes, all of those as a group. Could it come back as a report and then take action on that as well, well Mr. I, Smith? I would just like to see if we could replicate this ordinance with those items but not slow this ordinance down. This will slow the ordinance down. Well, no, it won't. It won't? No, what, we want this to go this? through with the alcohol. We take yours we by just a like report. An identical back. ordinance with tobacco products. Got it. So that's it, but it's not together with this one. No, at this no, we just got it. Do it separate. Oh, we got report back. Very good. But well, we like the, the ordinance to come back. Got it. The ordinance will come back. Okay. Mr. Kokorian? Okay. Dion, are you comfortable with that? You understand it? The. There should, uh, public comments on this should be reopened for a brief period because it substantially changes the, the matter. Mr. LeBanche. Well, hold on. Uh, Mr. So if, Mr. if this were framed as a, as a report back, then it would not change. I'm sorry. If, if it's a report back when the ordinance comes back, yeah, I, I think that would not substantially change this ordinance. Yeah, Mr. Fuentes. Thank you, Mr. LeBonge. I guess I've got a question. I, I want to thank Mr. Koretz for helping us understand sort of all of the implications of, uh, of this type of advertising. But how would this ordinance interplay with uh, events that are hosted by the city of Los Angeles? Let's say there is a sponsorship opportunity. Uh, you've got Tidehouse sort of advertising rules that we've done, for example, at LA Live and, and, and that sort of thing. There are events that are currently, at least I'm reading in the newspaper, planned to be held here at City Hall, sponsored by uh, liquor companies. How would that ordinance potentially interplay between special events like that uh, and advertising? Is there a distinction between the two? Uh, yes, there is. Uh, the currently in the recommendation, it's to request the city attorney to draft an ordinance which would prohibit the advertising of alcohol products on city-owned and controlled property with exemptions for existing contracts, proprietary departments that control their own property, and city departments which have facilities or uses where the sale or consumption of alcohol is permitted. So the, the, under the exemptions, it, it, it would then be included under that. So a special event, uh, Grand Park, City of Los Angeles steps, 
that would be exempt from this ordinance? It, that is my understanding, but we could include that in the report back when the ordinance comes back. I think that would be helpful for us to know. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. That include record parks? Yes. Okay, no other speakers on the queue. Report back due. Let's uh, open the roll. Excuse me, Mr. President. Yes. Since there are two committee reports on the file, a motion is required. All right, let's have a motion. M Budget and Finance, seconded by Mr. Koretz. Thank you, Mr. Kikorian. Open the roll. Close the roll. Tabulate the vote. 